yes, yes, yes. Everything to me. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Good morning to you all. Pastor Marty, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Ask that everybody to spread the word and vote. The window is very, very short. Voting ends April 25th. Then we'll know if we're going to go to the big show. Sing it. Sing, Bree. Good morning, Gail. Right on GODRadio1.com, a BBS reporting station, the Wake Up Morning Show with Dr. LT and Robert L.D. This is worth this song. You gotta do what's right. Sing great. Come on, Drea. Yes, and once again, this is Dre Rando on GODRadio1.com, Wake Up Morning Show. Do what's right. Is, I got to be pleasing in sight. Yes. Come on. Come on, put it, girl. much, Lori. Yes, 
yes, yes, yes, yes. That was none other than Drea Randall. The song is called Do Was Right. Before that, it was Brian Taylor in favor, Byron Taylor in favor, Broken Hearted. Good morning to you, Robert L. Dean. Good morning, Dr. L. T. Well, I tell you, it's another day that the Lord has made. Oh, I yes. am excited to see what God is doing in the midst of his people. You know, I'm just so excited about where we are in this day, in this time, and in this season. You know, Robert, um, there's so much to thank God for. You know, a lot yeah. of times people will, will look at other things and look at other situations and, you know, they'll say, what do I have to praise God for? Well, he woke you up this morning. He started you on your oh, way. You're yes. in your right mind. My God. A roof over your head and food on your table. Well, thank you, Jesus. That's a good place to start. And I thank him just for my life, my health, and my strength. I thank him for loving me so much that even while I was yet in my sins, Robert Earl, he died. He died. And he, he oh, died yes. so that I might have life and I might have it more, more abundantly. abundantly yes. You know, God is so awesome. He's so amazing because even while, you know, sometimes we, we, we don't have always the uh, attitude of gratitude. Yes. And many times we will complain about the littlest things. Oh, it was too much traffic. It's too hot. It's too cold. It's too and, God, and God was just saying, but, you know, are you too blessed, you know, that you can't just begin to thank and praise mm -hmm. me for, you know, what is what going on right now yes. in your life? Because there's so many other people that would love to be in your shoes. Yes. You know, would love to be able to have and say that this is the day that the Lord has made for me yes. and I will rejoice and be glad in it for me because he loved me so much. Come on. You know, I'm trying to tell you, when you begin to think about the goodness of Jesus, Jesus, you begin to think about the me culture because he loved us so much. You know, he loved me so mm. much. He delivered me. He yes. saved me. He worked with me. He changed me. And you got to say, can, can, does anybody love me? Yes, yes Jesus, Jesus loves, loves you. Come on. In, through, the, name in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. My well, let God. Let us pray. Gracious Father, God, we thank you for the day, this day that you've allowed us to see. God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for the me right now in our yes, life. Lord God. Jesus, I thank you, Lord, for loving me. I thank you, Lord, for keeping me. I thank you, God, for delivering me. God, I thank you, God, for healing me. Lord, I thank you, Lord, for doing all that you have done for me. And we give you the praise and glory this morning. God, we ask you to watch over us as we go into this show. God, as we go through this day, we ask you to cover us cover in us your God. blood. Lord, put a hedge of protection around each and every one of your kingdom citizens. Lord Jesus, protecting them from all hurt, harm, and danger. Thank God, we Jesus. bind the hand of the enemy that will try to come to hinder and to steal and to destroy. We bind the hand of sickness and COVID and anything that will cause us, Lord Jesus, not to be able to freely be able to praise you and glorify your name. God, we pray for the citizens of Ukraine and, Lord Jesus, war-torn nations. God, we pray that you, Lord Jesus, will keep them and deliver them. And even, Lord Jesus, right now, where they're saying that they're using uh, uh, germ warfare and, and, and poisonous gas, God, we ask you to bind be. the hand of that enemy, Lord Jesus, Jesus, and let the gas and the poison, Lord, have no effect because you are our God. In the name of Jesus. You are our Savior. Yes, God. And we praise you and we glorify you for all that you're doing. Yes, God. In Jesus' name, thank you, God. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We bless you, Father. It's the Wake Up Morning Show. I thought that you should know it's the Wake Up Morning Show. Wake up, wake up, it's the Wake Up Morning Show. I thought that you should know it's the Wake Up Morning Show. Earl Dean, Earl Dean, Earl Dean. It's the Wake Up Morning Show. Show. I thought that you should know it's the Wake Up Morning Show. Yes, it is. Everybody, everybody, everybody say hey, ho, it's the wake up morning show. Everybody say hey, ho, it's the wake up morning show. Everybody say hey, ho, 
It's the Wake Up Morning Show. Hey, ho, it's the Wake Up Morning Show. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Good morning to you, Robert L. D. Good morning, Dr. L. T. Man, I tell you, the Wikipedia Gospel is up in the house, and I thank God for you each and every day, Robert L. D. We are in the midst of uh, the Stella Run, as we call it. Yes. Made it into round two, and I want to thank everybody for voting um, in advance. You know what's so amazing? What's you, that? you know how you got Miss Heidi that will pop on from your from your place of work? Yes. Now I got Everett Lofton. He 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 done he done came on. I tell you, he is the uh, I call him the 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 MT the 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 healthcare worker uh, extraordinaire. That's my friend uh, over there at Perkins. Uh, All right, and, Perkins, come on through, Perkins. You know, and I, I thank everybody from a, around the world mm -hmm. that is voting. Last night there was a voting frenzy when we announced that we were going in and that we had made it. Uh, literally, I know for a fact that there was a voting frenzy because all of our social media was lit. Can you, and I mean, people can, were hitting. But how can you tell? Because I mean, people were hitting left, right, done, done, done. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, yeah, gotcha, and, they gotcha. were, and they were just reporting in. And right now, even then, people are saying, I voted. I put my vote in. Well, you guys might say, well, Dr. LT, what are you talking about? What is the vote uh, that you're talking about? I'm literally talking about we made it into the second rounds of the Stellars. Now if we make it, if we get, get this next go around, Robert, we go to the big dance. So what is the Stellars? To me, it's gospel Grammys. That's what, what they it, what call it. To you. Yeah, that's what they call it. They call it the Stella Award is the Gospel Grammys. Yes. It is it is where we we elevate it's not only celebrate. music and 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 artistry and mm -hmm. management and everything else, but we also elevate radio. Yes. And you know, after us being in the business, then we're getting ready going on our fifth year. Mm -hmm. We've been in the Stella running every year that we have been in oh, the runnings. And Robert, you know one of the things I love about it this year? What's that? There was like over 40 stations in the first round yes, of the category. It now it's dropped down to 10. Right. But you know what I love about it more than anything else? They put us in the number one spot. Yes. And, and you know, a part of me says that says that we did fairly well. It might, it might say that. I'm, I'm, I'm almost sure it will because why would they place us? They normally would do things in alphabetical order, I would yeah. think. Yeah. And so, so if not, that means it must be something good to it. And you know, and and you know, the reason we are where we are is because of our support base and our yes. listening audience, and the extraordinary team that we have here at God Radio. I yes. want to thank our program director, Evangel, yes. because she literally allows us to do what we do, yes. and make sure that we stay on the cutting edge. You know how some people say, "Well, I did this all on my own." No, this is a collaborative oh, no. No team way. effort. And you know what's what's so crazy? about it, Robert L.D., is that she literally makes sure that we stay on the cutting edge of all music, yes. and, and 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 that's the, the wonderful thing. So this is what I want to do, Robert. I, I, I want to do something. I don't do this often, but I wanted to show people, the people that have made our show what it is and our station is. Uh, I'm going to zoom in for you guys to just check out this commercial that we've been putting up on social media and check a look at this. From the heart of our radio family to yours, thank you for casting your vote for G.O.D. Radio 1 on the first round ballot. It is because of you that we made it into the second round. We are officially in the running for a Stella Award. This list is a little smaller now, and casting your vote will be faster. Take a moment to visit the Stella Award website. That is www.thestellaawards.com. Click on the radio ballot and cast your vote again for G.O.D. Radio 1 for Internet station of the year. With your support, this dream becomes a reality for the whole radio family. Thank you in advance for your vote and support of G.O.D. Radio 1, Internet Station of the Year. Cast your vote today. There you have it. Did you see all of did, did you see all of the many, many people that make up GOD Radio 1? We, we are not just a, you know how somebody might say a one-trick pony? No. Uh, we're not just a station that is 
uh, in a home somewhere. We are a true radio station. We are a BDS reporting and monitored station. Uh, we are doing everything that we can to give you the very, very, very best in gospel music and in interviews. Oh, yes. And so we're very excited about what God is doing. We He's ask that faithful. you continue. He's faithful. To spread the word, continue to spread the word. I want to say this to you, this real talk, real talk so you get this. The easiest way to make this happen is to spread the word. You spread the word. You tell your friends, you tell your churches, mm -hmm. you, I mean, people that might, we have people that are voting that maybe have never listened to the station, but, but are knowing about the station. Mm -hmm. And uh, what, I, what I love more than anything else is that the artists are chiming in and saying, I voted. Yes. Um, and they appreciate the support. Mm -hmm. I had little precious Emmanuel uh, all the way over from the motherland hit me up early this morning. She said, she she, she said, uh, she called me uncle or daddy. Mm -hmm. You should say, like, mm -hmm. uh, I voted and I'm going to spread the word. You See, know, and that means a lot. And then uh, um, our on air out there, uh, Dr. Pete O'Dara, he said, man, let's do this. You know, then yes. um, we heard from uh, London, and London said, oh, my God, we're so excited. We're going to start the Blitz today. And then, you know, they have a big London Awards. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. uh, so we'll be sponsoring again like we did last year. And it's going to be a lot of fun. But you know what, Robert, they want more than anything else? What? They want us to come over. They want us to come over to London to be a part of that awards show. So we're going to look and see what our travel skills will allow us to do yes. in this season. But so much good stuff is going on. God is faithful. I'm telling you. Yeah. If you first seek you the kingdom and his righteousness, everything else is going to be added. And that's how I really live my life now. You know, you growing up, you, I, want, I want a Grammy. I wanted this and that. It's okay to want things. Mm -hmm. God gives us dreams. God gives us aspirations. Mm -hmm. But if we do his work, he will do the rest for us. Yeah, and you know, one of the things about it is that normally when you see people win awards, mm -hmm. a lot of people don't know that if you're part of the team, you also can order your Grammy or get your Grammy uh, so that you have it in your thing. Like if you were a portion writer of a song or mm -hmm. a portion of the, uh, the instrumental or producing or even the arranger, yes. if, if that song wins a Grammy or a Stella, you also are available for that. Right. And so one of the things, since we're up for Internet Station of the Year, thank you, uh, uh, Brother Battle. Mm -hmm. uh, appreciate you too. Right. If you... Um, uh, do it, you know, like I told everybody, we want every on air on in the station, including yourself, mm -hmm. to have their very own Stella Award mm -hmm. at their home right. because they made Internet Station of the Year. Right. Not one, not not just the station, right. but collectively. And so we should all be able to take that picture, that have that awesome. award. And, you know, like I said instead of taking it on the tour. We're going to make sure that everybody have a home. I think that's Can wonderful. we get amen? Amen. We're going to get back to some great gospel music. Thank you for joining us on this morning. This is none other than Park Stewart. Clear your mind. Right here on GODRadio1.com. got the supercomputer up yesterday. Oh, they, they did it? Yeah, so they come in doing all the testing and everything, but wow. it's totally built. They're doing it. So there's two there's two major editing bays now. Wow. They're talented, that's for sure. This is Clear Your Thank Mind you so by Park this Stewart on GODRadio1.com. Wake Up Morning Show with Dr. L.T. and Robert L.D. This is Park Stewart. He's a writer of commissioned and other artists. Parks have always been one of the smooth voices of the gospel music industry. Do, 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 do. 
Good morning, Patricia Taster. Hey, Linda, that's one of my UAPB Culture Club friends from Kansas City, Missouri. Good morning. Can you put a boat up in, in the feed? Can you type in the boat, the cell awards and everything? Too, Natasha. Lord Jesus. My own. Yes, I do. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus. I can hear you singing to me. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus. Yes, yes. There you go, Natasha. The link is right there. Yes, 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 yes. That is none other than Jonathan Ferg 
Ferguson, and that is Draw Me Near, right here on GODRadio1.com. Well, I tell you, Robert L. Dean, it's another day that the Lord has made. Oh. You know, uh, the one thing about it, I don't know if you ever watched the uh, uh, Mr. Robinson's Neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Yes. It's a beautiful day in the and, you know, would you be mine? I, I'd be like thinking that Jesus be coming through saying it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, but will you be mine? Yes. Will, will, will you follow me? Will yes. you be uh, with me and so I could see you in the kingdom? And, you know, many times people forget that they don't get there by themselves. No. But for the grace of God. Yes, sir. You know, I, I, I think about just traveling just from here to the next place. The point A to point B, mm-hmm. life can change for you in a twinkling yes, of an eye. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And it's just so much that we need to do and need to be aware of each and every day. Can I get amen? Amen. Well, Robert Odeen, we got a really great interview with us today. Another bearded brother is coming before the people. Yes. And you know, I'm going to have some uh, questions to ask about the beard yes, to start off. I already off. know you are. Who do we have with us today? We have this gentleman who is doing some great things in promoting and marketing the good news of Jesus Christ. You will know who he is after today if you don't know him. This is Mr. Sherwin Williams with Gospel Music Buzz. Welcome to the Wake Up Morning Show with Dr. LT and Robert L. Dean. Good morning, good morning, LT. Good morning, Robert. How are you guys doing today? Man, we're, we're blessed. Yeah, we are extraordinarily fabulous, expialidocious, all the good things that are going on. Brother, you know, I'm going to start off. I've been asking everybody about their beards. Yes. And the first question is, is it pre-pandemic or post-pandemic? It's, it's free. It's free. I had it for a while. Okay. It for a while, it, now, it's, it got crazy during the pandemic, but I had to kind of shave it back. You know, once I put back on the blazer, I had to trim it a bit. Yes, okay, you okay. had to make sure that it was clean, like his clothes. Ain't nothing wrong with that. And so, I'm, uh, uh, here's my next question about that. Now, you know, uh, I don't know if you remember in uh, coming to America. You know, mm-hmm. uh, when they asked him, well, what you put in your hair? He said, oh, we put some berries in there. That ain't nothing but ultra perm. <laughs> so uh, there's this whole new product of yes. beard care. A bunch. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And um, I've, talked to, I've been talking to a lot of brothers about beard care because of the fact there's a whole new industry that's really, you know, mm-hmm. breaking out. Mm-hmm. Do you have an endorsement deal already? I do not know. I've been testing some stuff, but you know, when in doubt, I typically just go back to good old fashioned cocoa butter. You cannot go wrong with some cocoa butter on that beard, man. But yes, I, I've been testing some things, but nothing crazy. Now, oh, right. now my question to you is, where is the accent from? The accent is from Guyana, South America, and I'm actually surprised you picked that up because, you know, being here almost 30 years now, not too many people pick that up. So good on you for that, Robert. Right. You, yeah, I can hear it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, I, I was going to get there. It ain't, it ain't East Coast. Yeah, I was going to get there and, and ask that same question because I'm like sitting up here like uh, he, he, he has an accent. Now, I'm going to ask you, I'm going to need you to talk up just a little bit louder because your smoothness is not getting getting He's over. laid, he's laid yes. back for Jesus. Yes. What so, about now? Now, now, go, now, now, see, look at you, brother. You, 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 you're doing that. We can balance you, you, you out. You just laid back. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, you know, he, he balancing us on out, and right. I'm trying to make sure we get it just right. Because you're loud enough for all of us. Uh, oh, wow. Did you, oh, did, wow. did you just really right. just come for me like that? Oh, no, no, no. I'm just uh, taking you know, observation. I, I'm, I'm, I, you know, already came with the wild kingdom. Don't, don't yes. you start this Hallelujah. morning. Hallelujah. I'm wild kingdom for Jesus. Okay. We, we, we're going to go kingdom. back. kingdom. Hallelujah. We're going to go back, and we got an interview. Yes. Yes, sir. All right. Go, go ahead. Now, now, Brother Sherwin, let's talk about mm-hmm. your company. Um, I ran across it on Instagram, and from there we developed a friendship. Let's talk about yes. that so the people can know what you offer to the world. Yeah, so that, that started about, I would say, five-plus years now. So it initially started when I was, you know, doing stuff with my wife. My wife is a recording artist, Yonette Odessa. And at the time, you know, kind of trying to get her music pushed, trying different avenues, various things. It just seems like we were running into a lot of roadblocks or Mm -hmm. it was a lot of short term campaigns. So I keep finding myself saying, you know, if I were to do this, this is how I would do it. If I were to do this, this is how I would do it. And after saying that for about a year or two, I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to start doing it. And that's what kind of just burnt it out. Gospel music buzz in terms of what we're doing with media and marketing, just kind of 
being that bridge for independent artists that is now starting up trying to figure out where to go what to do how they're looking to do that and just making a necessary network i think it's important because your services are needed in this industry you said the key word independent artist that means the independent artists usually are funding their um their books their music mm -hmm. whatever they're doing they're funding it themselves so i think it's very very valuable in what you you do well my brother you you mentioned that your wife is an artist who is your wife yanette odessa okay and uh does she have product out right now yes she her last project was about two and a half years ago but she's getting back into the studio now but yes and and how do you spell her name y-o-n-e-t-t-e -E, and last name odessa o-d-e-s-s-a all right, all right. We just, you know, we, we want to make sure that we know who she is yes. so that we connect it. We are, although we do uh, a tremendous amount on the top 40, we also are the independent uh, gospel music station where artists come from all over the world yes. to be heard here. Uh, every Tuesday and every Friday, we actually have an independent showcase day on the uh, morning show and the midday show. So we want to make sure that we continue to support artists. Let me ask you, where are you locally based at at this point? In New York. We're based oh. out in New York. Yeah. Okay. Now you done, oh, you done started yes, again. I've never been you, there. You, you, I want to come to New York. I do. You, you, you're in New, you're in New York. You, 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 now you know better. You got to say, you can't just say New York because New York is too big. Brooklyn. What part are you in New York? Initially, was out in Queens. Now I'm like kind of sort of upstate. I would say right outside of Jersey. Okay. I'm right outside of Jersey right now. So, so you in the suburbs. You, 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 you in the little bush. <laughs> to get the buzz on top five place definitely i mean i would say you know definitely doing the full tour spectrum i mean if you come into new york you have to go to times square right you can't just come to new york and not stop through times square right and then once you're finished doing that you got to do the whole you know the whole central park stuff you know whether you into walking biking whatever you want to do central park you have to check that out for sure, definitely want to check out the East Village. East Village has a lot of cool, you know, depending on how trendy you might be or not, you know, you got the East Village. And then, of course, there's your lot of your other landmarks, you know, like uh, your, if you want to check out, you know, uh, Empire State or if you want to check out Statue of Liberty or anything. Mm -mm. But there's definitely, there's, there's no shortage mm -hmm. of things to do and there's always something new popping up every day. Well, I, I actually, uh, I want to actually go there and I want to get to the place where they did the video for New York with Jay-Z, you know, and, and, oh, yeah, and uh, in the in, in Yankee Stadium. Yeah, I just I just want to go there and just be hollering New York. <laughs> you could you could do that as well, too. I, I want, I want to, to go to the Whenever you're ready to come, just just to shoot me and shoot me a message. Okay. We'll, we'll connect and go all over. We want we want Apollo. That's what we want to go to. We want to go to Harlem, to yes. Apollo, yeah. go yes. uptown. Yes. Can go uptown. Yeah. Now, now it's, it's very funny because your name um, is very, um, uh, I, I would say that when I, when I saw your name, I said, I know this brother from somewhere. So I'm, I'm getting ready to uh, ask some questions, see if I can narrow this down. Do you know a Debbie Wallace? Debbie Wallace. Name sounds familiar, but can't can't really place the person but the name does sound very familiar okay. what about a clinton courtney not that i can recall okay mm -hmm. so th those are the two names that I, I thought i had associated you with um so let me ask you a question new york uh you you have you five years ago you decided to do gospel buzz how has it been doing what we call a startup business and and what have been some of your hurdles but also some of your triumphs from the hurdle perspective, I guess it's just trying to ensure that you're not distracted. You're kind of just staying with what you believe is your lane, right? Because when you're starting anything, there's always that push to want to do it like someone else or want to do this or want to do that. But you got to understand what your call is and what you are looking to solve and what that problem is of that why that you're even doing it to begin with. So it's just kind of staying focused with that why. And then in terms of the hurdle perspective, again, you know, within the last two years, I think everyone felt something there when it, whatever it comes to live events, when it comes to anything within that space. 
and then being a brand you know doing what we do I would say about maybe six months ago after having our Instagram account for about five plus years we built up about maybe 17,000 or so followers the account got shut down so the account got shut down after five plus years we tried to work with Instagram to get it back we couldn't get the account back there was a lot that was built around there so kind of you know we started back up six months again mm -hmm. but it's just rebuilding that brand trust that brand loyalty again someone comes to your page they're looking at someone with just 2,000 followers versus someone that had 17,000 now they're a bit more you know apprehensive do I want to go with this person and during that transition we did lose a lot of you know clients if you may or connections and such during that period but I just gauged all of that as you know God needed to do what he needed to do mm -hmm. during that period mm -hmm. and if a lot of those connections kind of fell off they needed to fall off regardless so mm -hmm. it was just the last six months rebuilding reposturing and just you know staying focused so let me ask you this question you know because this might help the next person was there a reason why Instagram shut you down I got a blanket message that said you know um, terms of services were breached but usually from all my research what that means is that let's say if a large number of individuals repeatedly report your account you know 10 15 persons keep reporting or reporting your account every day eventually Instagram is done based on algorithms and algorithm uh, algorithmically they're gonna go ahead and they're gonna shut it down and then you now have to prove like hey that wasn't the case this wasn't the case mm -hmm. and because there's just so much more users to support staff mm -hmm. that takes quite a while unless you're really large that takes quite a while there's whole reddit uh, threads where everyone is talking about that and it's just one of those things you know, I, I'm going I'm to protest because they didn't shut Donald Trump down. It took him a long time to shut him down. I agree. And, and you know, it's it's amazing that when you're trying to go forth in the kingdom, yes. that there will be this stumbling block. But I really believe that God is saying uh, and letting us know that our success is not based on other people or other platforms yes. because he has the largest platform. Yes. And so I'm very, very excited about you know, uh, the relationship that we're going to build with Gospel Buzz because you're going to get the support from G.O.D. Radio and we're going we're gonna to have you buzzing all throughout the nation. Well, well, I appreciate that. And before I even go any farther, congratulations to you guys for making the second round ballot. I mean, I must say that that's, that's huge. Man, we, we, we thank you for that because, um, you know, it's, it's amazing. We're like you. We're, we're, we're moving into our fifth year. Um, as a radio station, we've been in the industry. Um, our parent company, uh, Mandate Records, has been here for 27 years. And so there's a lot of transition that are taking place. And the funny thing about what we do is we this station came about based on a need. Um, it wasn't yeah. something that we just woke up one morning and, and said, we're going to do a radio station. But mm -hmm. we had been in radio for a very long time, but we were negotiating okay. all the deals for everyone else. And we were providing music for everyone else. And then finally, the Lord was like saying, uh, we need some consistency, um, build a station, and then allow people to tap in around the world. That's, that's huge that you guys, you know, went in that direction. And again, for such a short period of time to even accomplishing half that you guys have accomplished and the events and everything you guys have put on. Like when I was speaking with, with Robert and some of the stuff he showed me, I was like, wow, I was pretty impressed. So, you know, you guys are doing your thing too. Thank you. Well, I feel that um, it's God's timing. So everything that you went through was for now. And I want you and your wife to be encouraged because there is a need for what you do. And especially with people with integrity. Let's talk about integrity in the entertainment music industry. Yeah, I, I, I feel when it comes to, you know, when it comes to integrity, when it comes to purpose, you know, funding and all of that, I feel like you, you have to be kind of knowing who you're working with being sensitive to that, that individual being sensitive to where they are financially and not just looking at it to say you know hey you know for this one or two weeks you know while I might typically charge this this is what I'm going to keep with or that's what I'm going to do but it's also you know being flexible from that standpoint that's one but also you know if you're I should say in addition if you're saying you're going to do something you know someone contracts you for two weeks you're going to do something you know, you want to be a person of your word, right? You say, hey, I'm going to get you on five platforms. I'm going to rotate it this time of day and all of that. 
you want to be able to do that you want to follow up you want to stay communicative you want to do everything that you set out to do because that's also a very easy way to just tarnish you know early on you're saying you're going to do something and then you're not going to do it and when someone reaches out you always have an excuse then you're not doing what you're supposed to do and then that's also a breach of integrity from that standpoint as well and, and let's take it further when we're working for the kingdom our principles should be different yes we should yeah. be business yes we should do things at a high level but we still should make sure that we represent the christ that right. we talk yeah. about you know because it's, it's all about him anyway no matter if it's singing no matter if it's promoting no matter if it's producing it all is under gospel or christian music and i think and once we get back to that, we'll see record sales soar like never before. No, and that's that's true because again, we've gotten approached by you know again during those dry seasons when you're thinking you know hey you know it's been a few weeks no one having approached you to do something, and then when you finally get an email and you look at it and you're listening to the content and you're like ah, it doesn't quite represent what you stand for, but then there's also that second voice that well. You know, you still have stuff you need to take care of. So, mm -hmm. are you going to do it? But that's where you got to draw the line and just say no, regardless of what's going on, regardless of whatever inflow. You still got to stay true to what you're doing. So, yeah, for sure. So, so I want to break this down. So, everybody, because we have a lot of artists that are on the line right now, tell us what your service is. And I know that every project is different, but normally, kind of like the budgetary things that people need to have. Uh, to be able to connect and and to get your services yeah so it's it's kind of broken up into a few different tiers right so at the very base of it is that if someone is releasing something and you know they're gonna you know schedule some time to discuss part of it is just understanding where are they in that release project sometimes it can just be more of a discussion kind of doing checks and balances hey you have everything registered you have your ISRC, you have this, you have that. What about from a graphic standpoint? Do you have everything that you need, you know, for the full month's rollout? Do you have a few coming soon? Do you have your motions? Do you have your stuff for YouTube, for Twitter? And some of them might just have a cover and an MP3 or a cover and a WAV file. So then we will come alongside and say, hey, here's what we can do to really put, you know, the buzz on this to make sure that once we're going to get this out there is going to get out there is going to get out there with a sense of professionalism so there's a design aspect of things there's also just the, the marketing aspect just speaking to other radio stations on their behalf networking just trying to get their music on other platforms so we've built up over the last few years various instagram platforms blogs and all of that that we network with so once someone is doing a release i'm going to blast it out to all those individuals send it out to them so that now it can be ran on their platform. So there's the marketing PR side of things, there's the graphic design side, and then there's just the consultative part of things to say, hey, you know, I want to do radio servicing. I don't know who is who. I've spoken to probably, you know, the top 10 of doing radio servicing. So I can come back and I can say, hey, here's a cost difference. Here's kind of where they would drop. This is what you need to do. This is how this really works. And just get them in front of the right persons because i think what's hard is that when you're now coming in to a room and you don't know who's in that room that individual that's been standing in the room for the last two hours they're the more popular person right because they've seen everything that transpired in that room so they know who is who mm -hmm. so we try to act as that bridge for that person seeing that we've been in the room longer than they have i think it's awesome what, what are some of your future um endeavors that you have for the gospel music buzz right now we're looking so we've started to do some you know like interviews and promotion just on the on the film side of things you know we've recently like you know yesterday or so we did some uh interviews with michelle williams from doing the uh the wrath movie with td jake so we you know we definitely like that space faith-based films and so forth mm -hmm. so you know doing that doing a bit more event coverage, live event coverage again, award shows, certain things we've gotten to cover, the Stellar Awards, red carpet and such a few times, that was pretty good. You know, doing a bit more of that. And then recently we started managing our first artist, which uh, Robert and I spoke a bit about, which is Ashley Renee. 
so you know kind of doing a bit more on that side of things as the need arise so those are just some short-term things that we've been working on robert Odin, that's where i know him from the red carpet he the brother that pushed me and stepped on my toe it, it, and he didn't it, say excuse me it, you know and, 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 he, and he gave me the accent and he said he said i i need you to move my friend <laughs> <laughs> I'll just mess with you. I'll just mess with you. If you if you've ever been on a Stella Award red carpet, Jesus. they got us packed in so much that if if you if you don't love Jesus, you you gonna love them that day because right, we gonna right. all get along uh, as and we get the hot. interviews. And it's usually hot out there, so yeah, <laughs> there's the heat and there's everything else. Well, 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 brother, we appreciate you coming on the yes, show. Yes, yes. And you know, I asked the spelling of your wife's name, and you said Y O N E T T E. Yes. And then O D E S S A. Yes. So now I'm on her YouTube page, mm -hmm. and uh, in honor of your family and of your wife, tell me what song we should play for the people so they can hear your wife uh, and see what you've done in her life. I would say, let's see, what was the last video? I would say "End of Me." "End of Me" is a uh, it's a pretty it's a pretty good video. You said "End of Me." Oh, actually. I would say hallelujah. Sorry, you said play it in terms of music. So. Okay. So hallelujah is the song? Yes. Okay, I'm going to get that queued up, and I'm going to let Robert he, uh, he, uh, answer. He, he, he's so proper, and he's so proper, he does live in the suburbs. I, 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 he just has to. He's yeah. so laid back and so proper. He probably don't even got no Tims. You know, it, he... <laughs> <laughs> wow. He, he, he probably he probably like said uh, they be like said where where is his Tims at? You know, if you're in New York and don't have no like, okay, we're gonna have to do this right quick. Do, do you have any Tims? Do I have any Tims? I just got rid of my last pair because it got messed up. I need to buy some new pairs. I don't have no so Tims. My last pair either. got really messed up. So. Okay. F first of I all, I, I don't live in New York. But if you live in New York, they, they say everybody in New York got some Tims. And if you don't got no Tims, you can't be a true New Yorker. Oh, okay. That's all I'm saying, you know. Listen, listen, man. If you, if you got some Air Force Ones, then you're a true New Yorker. And I, okay, you know, yeah. I got, I, I got all the Air Force Ones I can get, but, you know. There you go. I got to go, I gotta go restock. I got to restock. I give you that much. And, and, I need to restock in the Tims. And the craziest thing is they don't call them tennis shoes out there. They call them sneakers, right? Yeah, sneakers. I have never used the word tennis shoes in my life. Yeah. yeah. And, and and here's the craziest thing. They y'all got whole sneaker stores that uh you go in there and you can spend twenty thousand dollars. You can, definitely. It's a whole yeah, it's the whole thing. That that is for sure. All over the place, yep. Now my question is what brought you to America? Uh, my mother actually. My mother <laughs> came here first. And she basically, you know, she saw the opportunity. And figured, hey, you know, America versus Ghana and kind of just long-term planning. Felt like it was a better move. So, yeah, I thank her for that. Okay, my, my last question uh, is simply this. I've, I don't think I ever had any Guyana food. So mm -hmm. what would be um, a dish that that you are known for that everybody wants to have if they know, know Guyana food? I would say, you know, Something nice and simple. My, while you might have had, you know, roti and curry before from, you know, other West Indian place, I would say that's a staple. Mm -hmm. That's a staple for sure. Or cook up rice is a staple. But if it's Christmas time, you want to have pepper pot. Oh. It's only made once a year during Christmas time is pepper pot. But outside of that, I would say definitely getting some roti and curry and some cook up rice. Yeah, you know, I love me some roti. You know, I've been like saying, all my Trinidadian friends, where's the roti? Uh, exactly. I asked it right away. <laughs> well, my friend, it is really great uh, meeting you. Yes. Uh, we, we ask that you will support us in the second round of yes. the Stella Awards. Spre spread the word. We want to bring home the awards so that we can continue. He already has. This, this gentleman has, uh, he, has you, put you, you up. Wouldn't, you wouldn't even he, let me finish but, my but, statement? But I'm saying he's put up. <laughs> Wait a minute, a hold lot of, He's put up some of our wait, advertisements wait, wait, wait for some of the events that we're doing. Wait, wait a minute. So we appreciate you on the behalf of the you, whole you just, POG you just got the wild staff. Ki you just got the wild kingdom today. You're yes. just jumping all in. I'm jumping it. all in. I'm you jumping know, off the you, ceiling, you, off the trees, you, and everything you, else. You, you know, uh, you know, uh, we got guests, and so I'm going to be yes. nice. You know okay. what I'm saying? Well, you know how to be nice? Ooh. Oh. 
Now, see, you're supposed to be the Wikipedia gospel. You ain't not supposed to be the I got you too. Look, you are not going to do a Will Smith on me. You, you are not going to do a Will I Smith on me. I come in love and peace. Well, we're we going to get back to it. Right. <laughs> But brother, as you can see, we have a good time. Yes, we do. And we look forward to connecting with you. Are you yes. going to the Stellars this year? That is my plan, yes. I will be there for sure. So definitely hope to see you guys there as well. Amen, amen. And also, uh, we're going to be at the Gen Conference, Gospel Industry Network, uh, with um, the very next weekend in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Um, I want to make sure that you know about that. That's going to be a very, very big conference. People are coming from all over the world, and yes. we want to make sure that we tap in together, all right? Okay, De definitely. And before I go, I, you know, I want to also give my wife a shout out. Today is our 15th year anniversary. So, wow. To you, Nads, and happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy is your anniversary. Okay, that's all I had to say. You okay. Know, it, you know, yeah, see. That, that ain't your ministry. <sighs> to wish them a happy anniversary? No, the other part. So, praise <laughs> the Lord. <laughs> All right, my brother, this right here in honor of you and your wife, uh, uh, is is she singing with Jokia on this one? No, she's singing with Jolie. That's my Jolie. Daughter. Okay, okay. Uh, I wanted to make sure I had this right because, you know, I looked at it and I said, wait a minute, is that Jokia? Or? Yeah. And, and so who's the artist with her? Uh, Jolie, that's my daughter. What? It's a family affair. Wait, wait a minute. You mean to tell me? Wait, hold on. Wait a minute. Let, let me... You mean to tell me that your wife and your daughter sing? Yeah, they do, indeed. Funny. And the Trying graphics is good. Thing is she's, she's shining off, but. Amen, amen. Well, we're, we're, we're very, very, very much excited about this. This, matter of fact, you introduce it, and we're going to play it. I'm going to move the video over so I get a full on so people can see it. You introduce it, brother, nice and cover. we're going to play it. This is. Hallelujah by Yana Tedesta featuring Jolie. Right here on GOD Radio One. Dot com. Donna Wilson, God bless you. Thank you for joining in. Is that Michi Boo? Pamela Hawkins, God bless you. Okades, where are you from? Pamela Hawkins, tell us where you're from. Yearn Kids, where are you from? Good morning, Lori. Michi Boo, where are you from? Destiny, he's talking to you. All right, Montgomery, Alabama. Good 
worthy of praise. project to us, or at least the singles. family to yours. Thank you for casting your vote for GOD Radio 1 on the first round ballot. It is because of you that we made it into the second round. We are officially in the running for a Stella Award. This list is a little smaller now and casting your vote will be faster. Take a moment to visit the Stella Award website. That is www.thestellaawards.com. Click on the radio ballot and cast your vote again for GOD Radio 1 for Internet Station of the Year. With your support, this dream becomes a reality for the whole radio family. Thank you in advance for your vote and support of G.O.D. Radio 1, Internet Station of the Year. Cast your vote today. You guys have a great chemistry on the air. Live on the flight deck, Gospel Aboard the Midway returns with the ninth annual Bayside Gospel Concert, Saturday, July 30th. Celebrating our brave men and women, first responders, don't miss multi-award winning gospel recording artist, Brian Courtney Wilson. Also appearing powerhouse vocalist Lenny Battle. Christian hip hop crooner Palace, along with Foothills Christian Church worship team. Tickets available now at GODRadio1.com. Don't miss Bayside Gospel Concert aboard the Midway, Saturday, July 30th at 7 30 p.m. For more information, call 858 650 3190. See you on the flight deck. Yes, yes, yes. We want to see you on the flight deck uh, right here with GOD Radio 1. We're going to be also celebrating our anniversary, Robert L.D. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, we're really excited about that piece right there. Yes. Uh, so many great things that are taking place uh, in the midst of it all, Rob. In the midst and, of it all. And I thank God for it because, you know, uh, without the listenership, without the support of all you amazing artists, we mm -hmm. would not be where we're at. So we take this and literally, um, we take this not lightly of all the things that you all do. And I want to say this, Robert Earl mm -hmm. You know, when you have ambassadors like uh, Sister Peniman that comes on. Yes. And then when you go and you find a sister that is down there in Montgomery, Alabama, by the name of Pamela Hawkins, yes. you know. And then you get Okadis, um, uh That blesses us. And we yes, have, it does. You know, uh, I think there's Jaren Kins, Kinnis, uh, 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 I I'm messing up on names, but, you know, you have Lori uh, Crosby Howe, Donna Wilson, Mitchie Boo, you know, uh, uh, Melanie McBride, Miss Heidi, uh, Sister White, Joe Joe, 
uh, Bridget, Ramon, uh, Brother Thomas Lagan, Patricia Taster, you know, Sister Wilson. And it just goes on and on and on. And we just thank you all because without you, we would not be we here. We would not be you here. Know? And uh, we do what we do and we get up every morning because we, we, we sometimes uh, and most times miss you yes. and need to see you yes. and feel you and know that you are a part of the walk and the life that God has called us oh, to yes. do. Last and evil days. Robert Ordean, you have anything you want to talk about this morning? Because, you know, you, you, you the Wikipedia of gospel, the wild kingdom of this morning. I'm just excited. I want everybody to stay tuned because we have some good stuff cooking in the oven. We are preparing for Behind the Dreams with Robert Ordean. I'm so excited about this, this TV show that will be coming forth. It's going to bless people. It's going to take you inside to many people that you love. And we're excited to be able to bring them to you. Well, Robert O'Dean, we're excited about that show, Behind the Dreams with Robert O'Dean. I tell you, it is going to be second to none. Yes, it is. It's going to be a, a, a lot of fun because you are uh, that dude that you will get to, you will ask the question to everybody like, Roop. Did he really ask that question? And Robert L. Dean would be like, yes, I did. Yes, I did. I said it. With and, taste. And, praise and, God. And I mean it. Can I get an amen? Amen. And so we're going to be very excited about that show. As well as we have another, a lot of other shows in the coffers, but that is one that we are working on. Logos are being designed even as we speak. Yeah. Can I get an amen? Amen. Well, just want to make sure that you can continue to mark your calendars for another uh, thing that is coming up uh, June 4th. Uh, at Journey Church, uh, stay tuned. Miss Victoria Matthews and the whole ORU praise team will be in the house giving praise and worship. It's going to be a free concert. We'll have more more coming up to you very, very soon on that one. Then the very next day, she will be at uh, Christian Life Center with uh, Bishop Blair Holloway. He's also alumni from ORU, yes, and we're very excited about that for his morning service, providing special music. And then we keep in June and go all the way to June 25th, and that is the uh, uh, San Diego County Fair. I believe it's going to be our 17th annual Gospel Day at the Lord. San Diego County Fair. We're very excited about that. We're still working out the details with our headliner and stages. But stay tuned. We're going to be making some great announcements very, very soon. And then we're going to continue to travel all the way down to July. In yes, July, we got yes. Bayside Gospel Concert aboard the Midway. Yes. That is happening on the 30th. You can go to gldradio1.com and get your tickets. Click on the link and take you right to the site, and you can get your ticket. And then, you know, in that month, we're also celebrating our fifth anniversary of GLD Radio 1. We hopefully will we'll be placing a Stella right here in the station. Yes. And then uh, going all the way to September, Labor Day weekend, Jazz at the Creek is back. And I believe that's our ninth annual Jazz at the Creek wow. featuring Will Downing, Pieces of a Dream, what a blessing. Aaron Stevenson, Avery Sunshine, Christopher Lincoln White, Lynn Roundtree, David P. Stevenson, and Reggie Codrington. I tell you, it's going to be a second to none uh, end of the summer celebration. We want you to mark your calendars and make sure that you make your way to the city of San Diego. And we are going to be traveling this year to many other cities, yes. to a city near you. You know, Robert O'Dean, I have come into my spirit that it's time for me to go and sojourn and go and visit Alabama. All right, you know Alabama. So I've Alabama, stay tuned. We're going to get there, and we're going to be there, and we're going to ask you to show us some Alabama hospitality. Yes. Well, we're going to get to some more great gospel music right here on GODRadio1.com.
Sean Pace Battle. Great thing to do. Make everything alright. Yes. Yes. Yo, make everything.